teacher. Hello, Diego. Good evening. Welcome. Right. Let's check. How are you, Diego? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. And I'm happy that you are good. <laughs> All right. We're going to wait a couple of minutes to see if your classmates get into the class. All right. Vamos a esperar okay. un par de minutos para ver si se conectan los demás. Okay, teacher.
Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. ¿Sí me escuchan good o no evening, sé? teacher. All right, good evening, Karen. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. I'm great. Missing you. Le extrañábamos, Karen. <laughs> Let's check. Y no pude estar en las dos clases, en la del jueves y en la del lunes. Y hasta ahorita, así que me reporto ya. Con todas las <laughs> <Excellent. las puestas. laughs> Y yo decía, me hace falta Karen para que participe también. Ay. <laughs> But, are you okay? Pero sí está bien de salud. Sí, aunque tuve unos inconvenientes. Uy, esto. Tuve unos inconvenientes y por eso de salud me puse con una gripe. Usted. No, sí. Eso está dando ahorita, Karen. But, you <laughs> sound good, so let's hope you're better now. Esperemos que ya esté mejor. What about Gaby? Hi, Gaby. We missed you yesterday. Hey, teacher. How are you, Gaby? Very well, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Le extrañamos ayer también your participation. <laughs> Check. También Diego no se había conectado a la clase de ayer. Ah, no crean. Ya me lo memoricé. Everybody. <sighs> Let me see. ¿Quiénes más están? Ay, no. Diego. All right, excellent. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Hello, Jonathan. Hello, Maybelline. How are you guys? Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello, good evening. How are you, Jonathan? I'm tired. You're tired. All right. You're wiped off. Wiped off. All right. Está cansado. Let's check. Maybelline, how are you? Um... Con sueño. Sleepy, oh no. All right, bueno, mire, con la clase que tenemos preparada este día, ya va a estar despierta. Sí, lo sé. All right. No, porque ahora vamos a tener también vocabulary, vamos a tener mucha practice. Y lo mejor de todo es que vamos a tener conversation time, you guys. All right. Cuando tenemos conversations es muy bueno porque no solo ponemos en práctica el grammar, sino también el spelling, el reading, el listening, todo, y el speaking, right? So let's check. Let's get started, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Today we have uh, the section number four. We are going to work on section number four. And between today and tomorrow, we are going to finish, all right? Today's topic is still the same one. Broccoli is good for you. Class number 10. Let's see, do you remember? Vaya, ayer estuvimos trabajando con una food pyramid, right? Es decir, una pirámide de comida de todas las categorías de comida que tenemos. So let's check. Vamos a ver si nos recordamos algunas de esas categorías. And you're going to tell me. And we have mentioned at least Five vocabulary words from the food pyramid. Let's see, vamos a iniciar con... Let's start with Samuel hello, Flores. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Marlon, hello. ahora sí, ya le escuchamos. I'm sorry. All right, excellent, don't worry. Yo dije, ah, me está ignorando. <laughs> no, no, ni siquiera me había fijado, no me acordaba, la verdad, que, que, que tenía... Que conectar el lado. Uh -huh. mm, okay, yeah, don't worry, it's okay. Let's check, everyone. Let me see. Samuel Flores, ajá, dígame okay. cinco palabras del vocabulario que aprendimos ayer. Cream, candy, fish, bean, chicken, beef, pears. Excellent. Y potato chips. Potato chips. Sí. Excellent, very good, Samuel. You take notes for not a Samuel. Excellent. Congratulations. Let's see. Creo que Lorena fue la que entró y me dijo good evening, right? Good evening, Lorenita. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Miss. Bienvenida. Let's check. Ahora vamos con otro compañero que estuvo ayer en la clase. Let's listen to Carla Melissa. Carla, tell me five vocabulary words from the food pyramid. Uh, 
nuts, eggs, beef. Mm -hmm. Nuts, eggs, beef, right? Nos hicieron falta dos, but don't worry, it's okay. Let's listen to, vamos con otra persona. Um, let me see. Jonathan, usted sí estuvo en la clase ayer. Tell me five vocabulary words. Uh, apples, broccoli, carrots, and cheese, yogurt. Yogurt or yogurt? Yogurt. Mm -hmm. Very good, sir. Excellent. Muy bien. All right. Now, as we have more classmates that they weren't in yesterday's class, today they are going to practice. Vamos a practicar con la food pyramid. Let me move this, all right? Solamente los que me hicieron falta de la clase de la, del día de ayer que no participaron en decirme el vocabulary. Espero yo que hayan podido ver la recording, la grabación en YouTube o en su defecto ver los videos de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para saber cuál es la pronunciación. So let's check. Vamos a iniciar con... Let's see. Hmm. Missing one. Karen Escalante. Ok, Karen, tell me the vocabulary, please. Léame todo el vocabulario. Desde fat, oil and sugar. ¿Desde dónde? Desde fat, oil and sugar. Estas son las categorías, Karen. Y estos son los alimentos que componen cada categoría. Ok. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter. Oil, candy, potato chips, meat and other pro protein, fish, protein. what? Protein. Protein. Fish, beans, chicken, nuts, beef, eggs, dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt, fruit, bananas, orange, apples, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, Potatoes, potatoes and legs. bread, cereal, crackers, fries, noodles and pasta. Excellent, Mrs. Escalante. Very good job. Excellent pronunciation with the vocabulary. <clears throat> Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Diego Calderón. Okay, your turn, Diego. Tell me the vocabulary. No alcanza a ver la letra. Ah, ya le voy a dar su. Please. Vaya, ahí está. Solo lo de fat, oil, and sugar, no sé si lo va a alcanzar a ver. Ok. Um, cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Then uh, fish, eggs, beans, chicken, beef. Milk, yogurt, cheese, uh, bananas, orange, strawberries, apples, mangoes, broccoli, uh, tomatoes, carrots, lettuce, and yes. potatoes, bread, cereal, crackers, rice. Noodles, pasta. Excellent. Thank you, Diego. Very good. We were missing the categories, but it's okay. You gave me most of the vocabulary. All right. Let's go with Catherine Cativo. Okay, Catherine, tell me the vocabulary, please. No sé si ya estará participando, Catherine, pero tiene el micrófono apagado. Okay, maybe not. Let's go with the next one. Gabriela Molina. All right, action. Solo baje el puntero y ya está usted ahí. Era para usted. Fat oil, sugar. Green, butter, oil, candy, potato chip, 
meat and other proteins, fish, bones, chicken, beans. nuts, beans, beans. Uh -huh. beans. eggs, beef, 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 uh -huh. um, dairy, meal, yogurt, cheese, uh -huh. fruit, bananas, apples, orange, strawberry, mangos, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, croquet, rice, noodles, pasta. All right, excellent. Miss Molina, very good. Repeat after me. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Eggs. Eggs. Meat. Meat. Vegetables. Vegetable. Uh huh. Lettuce. Yes. Very good. Excellent, Gabby. Thank you so much for your participation. All right, everybody. With this, I'm assuming. Con esto quiero asumir que si usted ayer no copió eh, palabras de este vocabulario, ahorita usted aprovechó que su compañero estaba pasando y lo copió, right? No saben si lo van a necesitar más adelante. Casualmente la última clase yo les pregunto todo el vocabulario, all right? I'm just kidding, no. Let's see, bye. Vamos a los guiding examples. Uh, let me check. Marlon, can you please read the guiding examples? Well, I like butter and oil. Oil or oil? Oil. Oil. I don't like candies and cream. My mother likes fish, nuts, and bands, but she doesn't like cheese and yogurt. Excellent. Very good. Everybody, let's please notice the pronunciation of nuts, right? No decimos nuts. Como acaban de escuchar, es nuts, please, right? Y en este caso sería beans. Now, let's check. Let's go with the next one. Estos son los examples que yo les di ayer y los traigo ahora también para que lo recordemos cómo hacer oraciones normales, simples, si las quiero hacer in affirmative, si las quiero hacer in negative, right? O mezclar affirmative and negative, como he hecho en este caso en el número 3, right? Puse una en affirmative. Luego, para cambiar la idea, puse la otra en negro. Contrast. Now, let's check to the practice time. Maybelline, can you please read the practice time instructions? Uh, practice time. Work individually. Create sentences using the food pyramid. Use each of the categories from the pyramid. Some sentences should be on their person singular. Excellent, very good. Dado el caso que ayer noté que en la práctica tuvimos un poquito de issue, como un poquito de eh, problema en recordar el uso del third person singular, les pido por favor que hagan una sentencia al menos, right? Dice, some sentences should be, all right? Pero si usted no quiere hacer más de una, I'm not gonna push it, no lo voy a obligar. Pero si haga al menos como mínimo una in third person singular, como máximo las tres, all right, si usted quisiera, pero si no, at least one. Les voy a dar tiempo para que trabajen esto. Esto es practice time, así que tomen provecho de esto. Les voy a dejar por aquí eh, los examples. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. The third person singular is we or they. Uh, the third person singular are he, no. he, it. It. Mm, okay. Son los tres. He, she, it. El, ella o eso.
of um, teacher Crocur, Crocus, no, no, cooking, no, cooking, please. Sorry? Uh, la galleta como de trigo son crockers. Crackers. No, crackers. Yes, crackers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Please don't write down. I hate crackers, but I like cookies. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, similar. Similar, right, excellent. Yo creo que ya las tengo, Miss. Ah, ok, excelente, Lorena. We're only going to wait a couple of minutes. Vamos a esperar un par de minutos más para que sus compañeros finalicen y luego usted va a iniciar, ok? Ok. I'm done. Very good, Mr. Escalante. Excelente. Okay, now let's get started. Some of you already finished. Some others are still working and that's okay. Let's start with Lorena, please. Tell me your sentences, Lorena. Okay. ¿Cuántos pidió, Miss? Three. Yo hice cuatro, pero... Ooh, excellent. Oh, por si acaso, me sale mal a una. Oh. <laughs> excellent, very okay. good. I like cream and butter. I don't like candy and potato chips. He doesn't like cheese. My brother likes milk and yogurt, but he doesn't like cheese. I love broccoli with meat and tomatoes. Well, that's good. Excellent. Yes, Lorena, are correct. 
Lo único que no puedo creer que no le gusten las potato chips. <risa> sí, me encantan. Ah, ok, no, 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 Let's check, let's go with the next one. Eh, creo que Diego, usted ya terminó, right? You finished. Yes. Ok, let me hear you. Ok, number one. Um, I like fish, but I hate chicken. Um, <laughs> really, you don't like chicken? Yeah, I don't like. Wow. Ok, continue. <laughs> he doesn't like, uh, he doesn't like tomatoes but he loves orange and my mom likes cereal but she hates pasta very good excellent very good notice you guys vaya miren esa sentence que diego hizo donde puso he doesn't like eh, repítala de nuevo diego please ya se me olvidó uh, he doesn't like uh, pasta uh, he doesn't like pasta y de ahí puso and But or but, and or but but but, but? she no, but she loves uh, cereal. Excellent, very good. But he loves cereal. O creo que era she. Lo que quiero que vean es que cuando utilizó el doesn't, él utilizó like y no le agregó la s ni nada. O sea, él dijo he doesn't like in past. I think he said right. Luego dijo but como ahí ya es una segunda idea. Cuando él utilizó el, el verbo love, ya lo utilizó como en third person singular, porque el auxiliar ya no le funcionaba y era una segunda idea. Por eso es que él dijo loves, right? Quiero que vayan viendo esas cosas porque sí pueden cambiarlos, right? En este caso, si ustedes se fijan en mi oración número tres, aquí sí dije likes, porque en la primera idea, first sentence, I don't have, a, no tengo ningún auxiliary, pero ya en la segunda idea sí tengo un auxiliary. Right? Entonces ya no cambio el verb. Son cosas mínimas, pero tienen que saberlas porque hacen la diferencia total cuando hablamos y cuando escribimos, por supuesto. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Eh, let me see. ¿Alguien más que ya haya finalizado? Yo, teacher. Excelente, Gaby. Very good. No dije que estaban buenas. <risa> <risa> Yo dije que terminé, pues, pero... <risa> I like fruits. My favorite are orange and apples. I don't like bread and milk. My sister likes salt. She doesn't like salty food. Very good, excellent. She doesn't like salty food. Me neither, All right? <laughs> excellent, a mí tampoco. Very good, ya, si están correctas. Excellent. Let's go with another one. Uh, what about Fanny? Fanny, tell me your sentences, please. Okay. I like pupusas and chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I don't like... Um... Espérenme, es que toda la comida me gusta. Es algo raro que no me guste algo. <laughs> um... Pacayas. I don't like pacayas and Coca-Cola. Uh, my sister likes pasta and wine. Uh, my sister, she doesn't like um, tamales de lote. All right. Uh -huh. Corn tamales. Four. Corn. Four. Ah, tamales. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Gracias. Excellent, very good, Fanny. Let's check. Let's try always, guys. Try to focus the subject, all right? Let's go with the next one. What about Samuel Flores? Uh -huh, Samuel, let me hear you. I like fish, candy, milk, and broccoli. I don't like butter, beef, and cereal. Uh -huh. My sister likes fish, orange, apples, and strawberries. She doesn't like oil, beef, butter, rice, and yogurt. Wow, excellent, Samuel. Very good examples. Guys, um, let me tell you something, all right? También no es necesario que por obligación ustedes siempre utilicen el verbo likes. Pueden utilizar eats, drinks, all right? Um, I don't know what else, cooks. 
right? Puede utilizarlo, puede variar ahí su verb. It's not an obligation for you. No es una obligación que siempre utilice like, right? A veces queremos decir en realidad expresar que la persona come eso. Entonces utilicemos el verbo eat, right? The verb eat. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con Jonathan. Después de Jonathan, maybe. Mm, I like candy and potato chips. Uh -huh. I don't like carrots and fish. Uh -huh. and my father likes beef, beef and chicken. He doesn't like nuts and broccoli. All right, excellent. Very good, Jonathan. Just repeat after me, solo. Si quieren ahora el micrófono, pero usted puede repetir ahí. Potato chips, potato chips. Potato chips, potato. Very good, Jonathan. Miren que saben que con ustedes no he utilizado la metodología que yo siempre utilizo de hacer que la persona repita tres veces la misma palabra, right? Hasta que he's not gonna make the mistake anymore. Hasta que ya se quede como es la pronunciación. Pero no lo he hecho, fíjense, todo el curso. I haven't seen the necessity. No he visto la necesidad. Let's go with Mabel. Um, I like uh, cheese and pasta a lot. Uh, my daughter loves the candies and yogurt, but she doesn't like fish. Uh, I don't like carrot and beef. Excellent. Very good. Yo se llama ella de su hija porque tampoco me gusta el fish. <laughs> I don't like it either. Excellent, my baby. Okay, Let's plus. go to somebody else. And what about Marlon? Um, I prefer milk and cereal, uh -huh. but I don't like crackers. Uh -huh. And my mother like, uh, my likes. My mother likes. Uh -huh. My mother likes beef, but my sister doesn't like fish. And my father prefer drink coffee, but I don't like coffee. All right, excellent. Very good, Marlon. Very good. Notice, you guys, over there. Pudieron notar eh, la variación del verbo, right? Él no utilizó precisamente like. Utilizó prefer. Lo mismo con Maybelline. And algunas escuché it, all right? So that's correct. Very good, you guys. Let's go with Karen Escalante, please. Después de Karen sería Catherine Cati. I like mangoes and I doesn't I don't like chocolate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My mother likes fish and beans and she doesn't like mangoes. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. My brother likes pasta and rice. And he doesn't like carrots. All right, excellent, very good. También puede ser uso, en vez del and, Karen puede ser uso del but, porque estamos contrastando, right? Le gusta esto y esto, pero no le gusta tal y tal cosa, all right? Very good, Karen, that's correct. Let's go with Catherine. I like potato chips and pupusas. I don't like chocolate and carrot. My sister likes candies and cream, but she doesn't like fish and onion. Excellent. Very good, Catherine. Very good. Excellent. Now, um, let me check. I don't think I'm missing anyone, right? Ah, Carla, yes, Carla, tell me your sentence. My sister likes fish and potato and candy. My brother likes bread, cereal, and chicken, but he doesn't like cream and rice. 
I like candy and potato chips, but I don't like fish, chicken, and milk. Excellent. Very good. Very specific, Carla. Bien específica, Carla. Excellent. Very good. All right, you guys. Now, let's move on to a conversation. Espero que esta práctica nos haya ayudado a ver cómo el simple present o cualquier tiempo gramatical que usted vaya viendo se puede acoplar al uso del vocabulario que usted ha adquirido. All right. Now, let's go to the next one. Conversation. How about some sandwiches? Let me check. Vamos a hacerla más grande. Adam and Amanda. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. No se olviden, no es refrigerador. Es refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Right, very good. Let's go with the next one. Ahora vamos con los siguientes participantes. Let me have, vamos a tener a Diego, usted va a ser Adam, Fanny y Marlene, usted va a ser Amanda. Action. Diego, quizás tiene el micrófono apagado. Otra vez. Y ahí yo, yo dije, bueno, le voy a recordar tal vez, o sea. Sí, siempre se me olvida y empiezo a hablar. Ah, ¿verdad? Yeah, you're Adam. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator refrigerator but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese do we have any drinks no we need some all right let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad sure everyone likes potato salad excellent very good very, very good pronunciation, fluency, and rhythm. Let's go with Maybelline Cisneros. You are Amanda, Marlon Escalante, you are Adam. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Uh, okay, we have uh, some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have an, any cheese. Do we have any uh, drink? No, we need some. All right, let's go some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, very good rhythm. Uh, no, fluency no, no, no. was okay, and also the pronunciation. Very good, you guys. Is Curry say lemonade? Or lemonade. Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Lemonade. También lo mismo sucede con sandwiches. All right, it's it's plural because we're going for a picnic, so probably we're going to eat more than one sandwich. All right, okay. so it's sandwiches. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Marla. Teacher, yes. yo le quiero preguntar, ¿el chocolate de tomar se pronuncia igual, chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. También okay. puede decir drink chocolate. Drink chocolate, ok. Sí, usted va a ejercer la acción. O también puede decir uh, chocolate drink. Una Thanks, bebida teacher. hecha de chocolate. Very good. Let's go with the next pair. Vamos con la siguiente pareja. Check. Vamos a tener a Samuel Flores. You are Adam. Gaby Molina. You are Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the 
refrigerator or food we don't have any bread? And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's let's get some lemonade. Lim come on, teacher. Lemonade. Lemonade. And let's buy some patat patato sal. Potato. Potato sal. So everyone likes potato salad. Yay, excellent. Very good job, you guys. Pronunciation, timing, influence. Excellent, great. Miren, cuando uno está haciendo una conversation, hay muchos factores que se ven envueltos, all right? Cuando les dije el timing, el tiempo, fue porque no anoté que ninguno fuera what do you want? No, you want the corrido, all right? Excellent, very good. Ahí se ve el timing, la fluency, eh, qué, qué tan fluidos somos al hablar, all right? Uh, the pronunciation, all right, and the rhythm, y el ritmo que le damos a la conversation. Recordemos que aunque nosotros quizás estemos cansados, cansados, sabemos que la conversación en inglés tiene que tener otro, otro tipo de ritmo quizás al hablar, ¿verdad? Tenemos que darle más énfasis a algunas palabras, and that's great. Excellent. Very good. Esto lo digo para todos, all right? Tanto los que han pasado como los que van a pasar tienen que tener en consideración esos factores. Let's go with Jonathan Burgos. Jonathan, you are Adam. Um, Karen Escalante, you are Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Um, I want some sandwiches. Okay. We had some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? We need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Very good, you guys. Good fluence. Very good. Rhythm and pronunciation also. Let's go with the last pair. Vamos con la última pareja que sería cuatro negativo. Usted va a ser Adam, Blanca Hernández. Usted va a ser Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in there refrigerator but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese do we have any drinks no we need some all right let's get some lemonade lemonade and um, let's buy some potatoes salad Sure. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo es esto? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Everyone likes potato salad. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Catherine. Hasta, hasta se rió en la conversation. Excellent. Eso le da otro sabor también a la conversation. All right. Very good, you guys. Let me tell you. Como informe general de cómo van. All right. Porque ustedes tienen que saber cómo están haciendo su... Um, how do you say your practice? ¿Cómo estamos? Carla, no cree que me he olvidado de usted. Usted va a participar conmigo, ¿ok? <laughs> Pero antes quiero decirle esto, right? Como informe general, están muy bien, everybody, con la pronunciation. Vamos, excelente. Un buen ritmo. Y sobre todo, la manera fluida en la que ya me están comunicando, pues las oraciones. Ya no vamos solo palabra por palabra, sino que ya leen sentences, ya leen questions, right? Que eso es lo que en algún momento a los learners nos cuesta muchísimo. Pero ustedes, yo veo que ya vamos muy bien aquí en este factor. Let's go with Carlita. Ok, Carla, ¿quieres ser Adam o Amanda? Voy a ser Amanda. All right, excellent. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, 
How are the sun sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Um, we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Very good. Sí, señor, pero no me grite, dígame, Carla. <laughs> okay. Sorry, you guys. A veces se me olvida que tienen los headphones y yo oh, grito cuando estoy dando la clase, okay? <laughs> Let's check. Let's go to the next one. Vamos a la por siguiente. Eso, por eso siempre me quito uno cuando van a... <laughs> <laughs> Ay, perdón, Carla. Let's check. Vaya, voy a hacer esto más pequeñito aquí para que se pueda ver. All right. What are nouns, everybody? Let's focus on this. Esto todos lo tienen que tener en su cuaderno, right? A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Básicamente un noun puede ser una persona, un lugar o un objeto, all right? En otras palabras, pues todas las, la mayoría de cosas que están alrededor de nosotros son nouns. Desde que estamos hablando de una table hasta un calcetín, un pantalón, un teléfono, all of those are nouns, all right? A person is a noun, an animal is a noun, okay? Now, let's copy this and let me hear... Y vamos a pedirle a Silvia Flores que por favor nos lea la información que yo acabo de leer. Dice, a noun, a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that to see around you, around us. Excellent, very good, thank you. Let's listen to Samuel. Samuel, léame de regreso esta información, please. Uh, what are nouns? A uh, nouns, a person, a place, or thing. In other words, many thing, things that you see are around you are known. Nouns. Thank you, Samuel. Lorena, lea me regreso la information, please. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Lorena. Lorena ya se fue a hacer el cafecito. <laughs> el tecito para dormir. Let's go with Gaby Molina. Ok, Gaby. Read it, please. Yes, teacher. What are nouns? A nouns, a person, a place, a, or a team. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Excellent, very good. Okay, everybody, thank you. Uh, Gaby, vaya, vean esto. All right, así se pronuncia esta palabra. No utilizamos la O, utilizamos la noun. All right, noun, y si es en plural, porque estamos hablando más de uno, nouns, all right? We don't say no, okay? This is for everybody, everyone who read. Now, let's go for the next one. Yo espero que esto ya lo tenga en su cuaderno porque mañana les voy a preguntar como a 10 estudiantes, ¿ok? Let's check. ¿Me avisan si ya terminaron de copiarlo para mover la slide, please? Yeah, ok. Let's move on. Some and any. Count and not count nouns. Tenemos los sustantivos que son contables y los que no son contables, right? Let's check. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Yo puedo simplemente quedarme hasta ahí con la sentence. Yes, let's get some. O puedo decir, let's get some eggs. All right? Por eso está entre paréntesis, porque es opcional si usted agrega el now. Let's check the other one. No, we don't need any. All right? No, no necesitamos ninguno. O no, we don't need any eggs. No necesitamos eh, ningún huevo. Right? Now, do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. Oh, yes, let's get some. 
No, we don't need any. No, we don't need any bread. Cow nouns, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. Non count nouns, bread, lemonade, right? Si se fijan, son bebidas las que no se pueden contar. Es bebidas y ya van a ver otros que tampoco se puede contar, right? A specific, I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Now, let's have some of you to practice your wonderful pronunciation. Let's listen to Maybelline, please. Maybelline, usted va a hacer estas dos preguntas. Y Karen Escalante, usted las va a responder. Cuando usted final, cuando Karen termine de responderlas, eh, Maybelline, usted va a continuar con los count nouns y los non count nouns. Y Karen va a continuar con specific and general. All right, action. Okay. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count now. An egg, eggs. Uh, sandwich, sandwiches. Not count now. Bread, lemonade. Excellent. Huh? A specific. I am eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent. Very good job, you guys. Following instructions. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Diego and Catherine Cativo. Okay, Diego. Usted pregunta, you ask. Catherine Cativo, usted contesta. Luego, Diego, usted lee count nouns and non-count nouns. And Catherine finaliza, uh, o sea, finaliza leyendo specific and general. Action. Okay. Mm. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes. Let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg, eggs. A sandwich, sandwiches. Non count nouns. Bread, lemonade. Specific, specific. I am eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent. Thank you, Diego and Catherine. Very good job. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con los siguientes, all right? Uh, Marlon, you ask. And Fanny Marlene, you answer. Then Marlon, you read count nouns and non count nouns, and Fanny follows you with a specific and general action. Do, do we need any eggs? Okay, Marlon is going to ask Fanny. Ah, perdón. Don't worry. Oh, do we need oh. any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need, need any, any eggs. Eggs, pardon. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't ne need any bread. Count now. And eggs, eggs. Sandwich, sandwiches. No count, no, no count now. Bread, lemonade. A specific, I am eating an egg. Let's get, a, let's get some bread. General, 
eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent, good you guys. Excellent, Fanny. Very good. Excellent, Marlon. Thank you. Because you were following instructions also. Now, let's go with this one, everybody. Guiding examples. Vamos a pedirle a um, Jonathan, léanos, por favor, los examples, estos ejemplos. I need some apples. I don't need any bread. Excellent, very good. Simple as that. Así de simple. Miren, oraciones pequeñas, concisas, pero que sí tienen lo establecido por la general rule, right? Siempre. Estamos utilizando el simple present in here, right? Si se fijan el verbo need, está en simple present. It's okay. Y tenemos en la segunda el don't, que sería el auxiliar y en el simple present. What are you going to do then? Entonces, teacher, seguimos en simple present, pero ¿qué vamos a hacer? Let's check. Practice time. Let's listen to Lorena Álvarez. Por favor, léame las instrucciones, please. Practice time. Word individuality. Uh, create. ¿Cómo se dice ahí? Create. Create. Add let's, let's to sentences using cones and and no, non cones nouns. Mm -hmm. Share your sentences with the class. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. All right. Two sentences, everybody. We still got time. Todavía tenemos tiempo, así que dos oraciones es lo que les estoy pidiendo que hagan ahorita, ¿ok? Utilizando cut nouns and non-cut nouns. Como en el ejemplo ya dado, right? Some, any, some, any, any, some, right? Las bebidas son contables. No. You can say. I don't um, need a uh -huh. drink. Oh, drink. I don't need to drink some soda, right? Or I don't want to drink um, any soda. Okay. Recuerden que el any. Ah, um, oh, no, el some no lo puedo utilizar, all right? Porque es, no se puede contar. No, so, solo. solo puedo utilizar el any. Pero en dado caso, en negar eso, right? All right, have any of you already finished? Bro. You? No, 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 I'm sorry. Ah, okay, okay, excellent. Alguien que ya haya finalizado las sentences? Me. Okay, let me hear you, Karen, déjame escucharla. 
I need some mangoes. I need to prepare a juice. I don't need any rice. I don't like it. Very good, Karen. Yay! Excellent sentences. Alguien más? Mm, I don't think you need that much of a time. Mm. What about Maybelline? Have you finished at least one Maybelline? Not yet. No yet. Okay. What about Diego? I don't know. Say is correct. I need any beef. I don't need any beans. No, I need. Ah, I need. I need any? some. Any is for the negative and for the questions. I don't need any beef. Mm -hmm. I don't need any beans. Very good. Yeah. In this case, it's the correct. I need some potato. I need some. I need some potato. Potatoes. Yes, sir. That's correct. I need some potatoes. All right, my dear students. Because you are really good students, I'm gonna let you go now. Please sleep a lot, uh, rest and everything that you want. And I will see you tomorrow, all right, in class. Please tomorrow be on time and be ready to present your sentences. Estas oraciones que no me han entregado todos ahora, las van a entregar mañana como un warming up, right? Como un calentamiento. All right, so I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a great night. Have a great night. Bye. 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 B